Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by the title, today we are going to talk about how to eliminate and prevent brass in the hair. So as the year comes to an end, I always like to do an inventory of the videos that I've done either in the past year. And I like to go over videos that have been helpful to you and that you've liked the most. And basically I did a video similar to this in the past. And a lot of the comments on this video was, I wish you had shown solutions to each of these problems or to show a product for each solution, which is genius. And I don't know why I didn't think about that. So I really wanna keep it simple. So today we're just gonna go over my five revised ways on how to eliminate and prevent a brass in the hair. So correctively speaking, brass is known for in blonde hair, whereas in brown hair, it's actually just called orange and red tones. And for each tip, I'm going to give a solution for both brunette hair and blonde hair. Okay, so for my first tip, probably the most obvious is to tone. Now, the issue is knowing what to tone and how to eliminate the brass without darkening the hair too much. Now, with that being said, if you do want to tone and remove pigment, you always need to tone in either the level that you're at or if the orange tones are severe, you actually need to go down one level. So if you're a blonde and say you have a level seven, eight orangey brassy roots, I recommend toning with a level seven. And I feel oftentimes when clients, or now my virtual consult clients, they'll say something like, oh, I toned with a nine ash and it did nothing or it didn't do enough. More importantly is the level almost more than the actual tone. Because if you get an ash colored tone, but in a level that is way too high, it's actually not going to do much for the hair. So to keep this video simple, we're sticking to just the N series. And I do feel like the N series are just very overlooked. Um, people either look to add gold or to add ash, but don't underestimate the power of a good neutral. If you have like level eight, level seven orangey roots, a seven N with processing solution, one ounce of each is going to cure that. Now say if you're a brunette or you have balayaged hair and you've touched up your roots or you just have orangey hot roots. That means when the roots are brighter than kind of the rest of the brown in your hair and you've tried purple shampoo and you've tried an ash toner and nothing is working, I definitely recommend going down a level once again. So if you're at about level six or seven at the roots with the warm tones, I recommend going in with a level six N. Again, one ounce of the color, one ounce of the processing solution, and your roots will be looking amazing. All right, so tip number two, another quite obvious one, and one that's actually probably used by a lot of people that are on hairdressers, and that is the purple toning shampoo. As you can see here, I have a purple and a blue toning shampoo by my favorite brand of toning shampoos, period. So there are two main things that you look for in a toning shampoo, and A, it's how it leaves your hair feeling. If your hair feels dry and just tired and fatigued after your toning shampoo, you're not going to be inclined to use it regularly. So a good purple shampoo is one that leaves your hair feeling silky and hydrated, which both of these do. And the other main point, of course, is the tone. Now, I've never tried a toning shampoo with such a beautiful shade. I've tried purple shampoos that either do nothing to the hair, where you put it on and you leave it on five minutes and your hair looks almost exactly the same. And I've tried purple shampoos that overly tone the hair, like your hair is gray after it sits on your hair for a minute and a half. What I like about these is the tone is gradual, meaning I can have this on my hair for a good two to three minutes and I'm not gonna come out lavender, but it does effectively ban the brass in my hair. Now, as you can see, I have two colors and you're probably wondering which one is good for which hair. Now the purple, I always recommend for my blonde. So this is levels nine and up. Blue shampoo is great for brunettes. Blue is good at canceling out orange, whereas purple is good at canceling out yellow. If you have orange in your hair, you're most likely not blonde. You are in the brunette kind of stage. Now the brass that I want to talk about is the brass that occurs when you just color your hair. So you have gray roots, you've colored your hair, and 
you say you wanted to go a shade or two lighter than your natural base color and now you have really reddish kind of orangey roots. The issue for that is most likely because you have lifted more than one to two levels lighter than your base color. So say you are a natural level four brunette and say you want to be a level seven or eight. I definitely don't recommend doing that with color. It may look beautiful and it might even brighten just your roots to the color that you want, but in two weeks, you're gonna be experiencing so much warmth that it's not going to be worth it. So I always recommend if you wanna go more than two levels lighter at the root or a four year base, you do have to get a baby light or a lightening surface. You can always tone it down, so don't think that highlights will just make you automatically platinum blonde. You can get highlights to still be like a caramelly soft brown. So if you do want anything over, like I said, about two to three levels lighter than what you have, I definitely suggest going with the lightning route, meaning baby lights, highlights, balayage. Now, if you don't want to get any lightener in your hair and you do want to just stick to having a base color, then I recommend staying as close to your natural color as possible. Now, say you're a natural level four and you wanted to be a level seven and you used a level seven and now you're orange. So what I hear a lot of clients say is, so I went and got another level seven, but in an ash tone and put it on top of that because that color was mixed with the 20 volume. So essentially what you did was stack 20 volume, 20 volume on top of 20 volume is just going to give you more lift. And so essentially it's just going to make you extremely, extremely brassy. So for this issue, what I recommend is actually coming down a level, even if it's darker or back to the same level of your natural base color. For me, that would be a level five. I'm naturally between a level five and a level six. And if I ever lighten my roots to be a level seven or an eight, I would go in with a level five and 10 volume and apply that over the roots and that will calm that redness down. And I know that five may sound scary if obviously you're looking to be light, but the 5N is a good overall for any of you that have had this warmth kind of in your roots, 5N is just a good rule of thumb that will take care of that. All right, for my last tip, which this is really important, but I also feel like it kind of gets dismissed, is don't strip your toner. So say you come out of the salon, your blonde looks beautiful, you have this great toner. Um, as we know, toners are semi-permanent, so that means that they will not stick to the hair the way permanent color does. And so therefore, it is very natural for the color to fade. Now, there are steps that you can do to prevent that from fading as fast as it wants to, and therefore holding on to that beautiful tone as long as you possibly can. So the first step is to use a color and gentle safe shampoo, one that is sulfate paraben free. Obviously it's a major plus. Sulfates is what really suds up the hair and can really clarify the hair. Another thing that you can do in the shower to prevent the stripping of your toner is to use slightly cooler water. So try to wash your hair with as cool water as possible. It's going to seal the hair and at least keep the color that's still there a little bit more sealed. Because what hot water does is it really opens up the hair so it's much easier for those beautiful colors and tones to just wash off. And then the last bit of advice for this tip is to finish off with a good, good hydrating conditioner. That's really going to seal in your hair and really just protect that gorgeous color. So some of my favorites are the Unite Luxury Shampoo and Conditioner. I love the Olplex Shampoo and Conditioner. And Biolage has some amazing, really hydrating shampoos and conditioner sets as well that are great for this. As you guys know, I like to use Monate on my hair, but not straight after I've toned my hair because I do feel that it can strip some of the color out. All right, guys, and that is it. Hopefully this was a thorough explanation and hopefully with more examples to make your brass prevention a little bit easier. If you still have any questions, absolutely leave them down below. And something I want to start doing in the new year is I will post on Instagram when I'm going to be doing this and that is to have you guys send me your hair problems. So that means 
say you've cut off wacky bangs and you've overtoned your hair and now you've lost all your highlights and you want to get them back. Or you've been wanting to lighten your hair and you eight sessions in and you're still not at your desired color. Whatever it is, I basically want you to send me a current hair photo, a brief description of what it is that you want, and then a goal photo. And then I will pick three of you from this Instagram post, and then I will make a YouTube video here explaining and helping you basically get to your hair dreams. And because we only have one month left of it this year, one of my ideas uh, for the holiday, normally, you know, we do a fun glam look or something. And I was thinking maybe this year, um, we could do a, either a quick like get ready with me because let's face it, we're all gonna be home in our pajamas anyway. <laughs> maybe show you a comfy but cute outfit idea. And as well, either like a cocktail recipe or like a fun cozy snack or appetizer or something like that. So a little bit different than our like sit down hair videos, but let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see. Leave me the little candle emoji down below if you want to see this video. And yeah, can't believe we made it to December of 2020. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.